it's that thing where we like we love saving the show. Oh we God. love yes. knowing the show. I we love, love being a savior. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, it's like, yes. It's like our toxic trait, like for sure. <laughs> the toxic trait we have. <laughs> great I think a swing if I were explaining what a swing was to someone who did not know what a swing was a swing is swings are Broadway's insurance policy where we are wherever we are the people behind the people on stage to make sure that the show goes well and on do I like that answer I can't decide. Yeah, that's good. I think I like that answer. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, because they they understudy. They now this is just patting swings on the back. They know the show better than anybody else in the building. Mm. That's true. They often can go on for the majority of people in the building, and they have what it takes to help the show stay afloat when it would otherwise sink. Mm -hmm. That's, I guess, the like abstract way of saying it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're taking care of a lot of people in the building. I mean, when people are sick at a moment's notice, like let's say somebody gets injured mid-show, mm -hmm. you're the one who gets to keep the show running. Right. Otherwise, you'd have a missing part or you wouldn't get to complete the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, taking care of your individual castmates, all the people you cover, mm -hmm. making sure everything is safe backstage, you make sure you're prepared. Yeah. So yeah, I think in, in the show's insurance policy yeah. is a good <laughs> way to describe it. Definitely. And I'm using swing as like the overarching like cover, yeah. like where standbys, sw standbys Understudy. understudy swings mm -hmm. yeah. under the cover umbrella are yeah. all. Yeah. In and, and particularly the ensemble. Yeah. At that. Yeah. yeah, because there is that understudy, that standby for the features and the leads. Um, I think that's particularly what's so dope about being a swing is that there is some type of um, relief pitcher, so to speak, <laughs> yeah. for mm -hmm. ensemble members who are having to do this incredible Herculean job of performing mm -hmm. eight times a week mm -hmm. um, when they need a moment we are there to give them that moment to have that grace. Um, so it, it's not only Broadway's um, insurance policy, yeah. but it's that opportunity to be an insurance policy for our fellows, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? For our, for our people that we are in the trenches with. I think a swings, um, it's an interesting uh, uh, life path here where it's like, I think perfectionists can be very much drawn to um, you know, pleasing and achieving mm -hmm. and, and yes. going on and pleasing the people around us. Yeah. And um, one thing that I have learned over time is just like affording yourself grace and, and also just laughing when you're learning something. Yes. Especially if there's stress coming towards you. Mm. As you're learning something, just say like, you know what, like details, details, like it'll happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I, um, for Some Like It Hot, which is, I actually um, came in as a maternity leave cover um, the stakes were pretty high in that I, I had only so much time to be a full swing to be ready to go. And um, so for me there, it, it definitely felt like, okay, the details are really important on this one. <laughs> they are yeah. really yeah. important. There was a lot of choreography. Um, as a female identifying, we do a whole lot in this particular show. Even by the first act, I found the first time I went on for a track that was my one um, a track that's the least amount of dancing, the most amount of singing, and lines and stuff um, I just it took me like you know a, two hours to cram the the first act it yeah. was like oh my god how am I gonna and I, had, I felt like I had to wing the end of the show yeah yeah bit because yeah. there's only so much time only so much notice that we mm -hmm. get sometimes yeah. right you know yeah. um, I feel like we probably all experience those moments where it's you know um, right in the middle of a show or not a lot of notice that mm -hmm. you're going on I've always felt very grateful when um, we do have a fair amount of notice, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah. It gets easier, yeah. right? I, I feel like I started embracing the idea of failing forward 
Mm. And yeah. being like, oh, I was so successful at failing tonight. You know what I mean? Like that, when I started saying that to myself before mm -hmm. going out, <laughs> like it changed everything for me because I knew then like, this is the number I got to work on the most. Sure. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Okay, mm -hmm. when I go back out there the next time, I'm going to hit him with this swag, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you never know. Yeah. And because, and sometimes, this happened a lot during Doubtfire, uh, where I would go on for one track for an extended amount of time, mm. and I got real comfortable with that, and now I got to go on for somebody else, and I'm like, yo, I haven't thought about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I haven't thought about <laughs> you, friend. I'm like, no offense, <laughs> but like, you're not at the front right now, you yeah. know? So yeah. every yeah. number was like, I th yeah, okay, yeah. okay, oh. <laughs> okay. But that idea, you know, I feel like, for a lot of swings, if we are going into the process with that idea of I'm gonna fail, yeah. but how successful can I be at failing tonight? Mm -hmm. yeah. It just alleviates so much stress because there's a lot of stress that you gotta hold yeah. right, as right, a right. swing. I have a question for yeah. everybody, the, the room. How, just going off of what you were just saying, how often project-wise do you guys feel like you're asked to replicate what's on stage. Every show. Uh, sorry. Really? sorry, that okay. came in really hard. <laughs> I came in real hard on that one. No, totally. Every show. Cause some, yeah, because I because I've on some projects I've they've been like do what's on stage and then other times it's been like, oh no, explore like who that track is in your body and who that right. track make is in it, your voice. Make it your own. And yeah. I wanted to know like I feel like maybe further back in generations it was a little <laughs> more um like by rote, do it as they do it, but mm -hmm. I feel like as time has progressed, mm -hmm. hopefully maybe that that has changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys, how do you guys feel? Yeah. Like? I feel similarly about that. I <coughs> think like, you know, in years prior and like at the beginning of my career, mm -hmm. people wanted the swings to do exactly what, you know, the primary person who plays a part does just to make it comfortable for everybody yeah, around stage, you. And, company, yeah. yeah, and not to make it too different <coughs> and not for anybody to say later on like, well, so-and-so doesn't like this, so can I ask you? to do it the way they do it, which is like the worst feeling as a swing because yeah. like you are your own artist and you are your own person and you want to bring your own artistry to the part. I do feel, I mean, uh, I, I just dance Captain Here Lies Love and I've been with the production since the beginning and I think um, in the production that was just on Broadway, I really, I really pushed for the ensemble swings to like, for example, I think of like, there's a number called Rose of Takloban, and there are all these girls who come through, and they're all these pageant girls, and they all have their own personality. Like, you go down the line, and each one has their own way of waving to the audience, blowing a kiss. Yeah. And I specifically said, you know, you don't need to do what um, the primary person who covers this role does. Like, please make it your own, make it a funny, like, make it whatever you feel, because it really should be like, we don't want to see. A, a mimic of an what, imitation, yeah, yeah, an imitation of what the person who regularly covers the track mm -hmm. does. Like, I want you to make it yours, and I hope that that's something that more people. Because I think doing. the hurdle there is <coughs> when you are trying to mimic what the person who is doing that role nightly is, is that the bit doesn't land. Mm. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like right. you'll notice like, yeah. oh, there's not a laugh tonight. Why isn't there a laugh? And right. it's because you're trying to do somebody yeah. else's joke and it doesn't quite resonate mm -hmm. with you, right? Yeah. right? And I think that for me, uh, as, as I have swung over the years, like that's that's something that's really gotta stick. Like if that's, that's supposed true. to be a joke, I gotta find that, the I have to find that joke. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. if I don't find that joke, then it's not there anymore. Right. And now the show looks different, yeah. Yeah. feels different. And it, is, it makes it easier to do that when you have a cast that's willing to, uh, that's malleable and is willing to play with you. That part. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that, that for part. a swing, I have to say, um, some of my best experiences being a swing are when people are willing to play. To play, yes. and I think in theater, I mean, not just swings, everybody, like, we don't wanna be doing the same show every night. We wanna keep it alive and we wanna keep it playful. And if you keep it playful and alive, like the audience sees that too. Yeah. I mean, you can tell when a cast is, they've been doing the show for years and they're phoning it in and I think it keeps it really exciting. Like, why do we do this? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. you have to keep playing. So I think it makes it easier to land that bit when you have willing <laughs> scene yeah. partners. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the most refreshing things I've experienced as a swing is when you go on and the cast around you is thrilled that you're there because yeah. you're shaking it up that night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they appreciate that your energy is yeah. there that day. And I do think, um, 
you know, it is important to um, to find ways of, of speaking these lines and performing these moves and singing these songs um, in ways that feel um, like they're authentic to you yeah. because only in that can you be really um, uh, uh, authentic to telling the story. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there has to be some sort of, um, malleable is a great word, like there has to be some sort of um, um, a way that the, the, f the show can can flow a little bit. Um, I do find also, as you said originally, like <laughs> I, you know, especially choreographically speaking, yeah. it's like a bit like the Rockettes. Um, there are m very many moments where it's like, you've gotta be <laughs> on, you know, these numbers, mm -hmm. this depth, all of that. And um, it is a big computer uh, game inside our heads. Yeah. yeah. You know, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, um, it's thrilling, it's exciting to be able to like have the bird's eye view of everything. I find when we go on, it's like every time you conquer a new track, conquer, uh. and then you, <laughs> it goes and it yeah. comes back <laughs> yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. But um, I will use that word loosely. Yeah. Um, but every time you get to conquer that track, um, it is a puzzle piece that you um, get awarded. Mm -hmm. and you have a different vantage point of the show and you get to kind of melt those together. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm sure you guys feel like totally also yeah. like exciting. what you're saying, like you're absorbing the energy of like the creative team and you hear the things they have to say, but you're also working with like all the people backstage, you're working with the wardrobe team. And I think when you are a swing and you are running around and you have the energy that's like so frantic and you're just like so like in your own little bubble of trying to figure out your show, mm -hmm. I think it's a recipe for disaster. But if you go in with grace for yourself and for the people around you, cause like, you know, you'll have a little collision here and there, or you'll do yeah. something minorly wrong and you'll get in your head about it. And a lot of the times when you're doing a show, you'll make a mistake and something for me personally, you make a mistake and you just have to let it go. Yeah. yeah. Don't get in your head. Don't mm -hmm. be like, oh my gosh, well next time I'm on for that track. I have. Don't get down on yourself. Don't be like, I should have, I should have, I should have. Mm -hmm. Just have a little grace because yeah. you're gonna get a chance to yeah. do it again. And yeah. the more you can be like malleable and the more you can kind of go with the flow yeah. and have an energy about you that is, you know, you don't get stuck in getting on yourself for mm -hmm. making a mistake. Yeah. I think the better it will be for you. Yeah. Yeah. As a Whenever story. I'm working with one of like, maybe a m more novice swing or someone who gets particularly like yeah. down on themselves if they've messed up something, I'll always be like, did the show go on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you, did, yeah. did yeah. the show continue? Yeah. Then you did great. Yeah. yeah. Did the yeah. show stay afloat? Did you, did the wheel stay on the wagon? Mm -hmm. Then you did your job today and it was fantastic yeah. and go have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Think <laughs> about it tomorrow. Yeah. Think about yeah. it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Apply your notes tomorrow. Yeah. Today, you did a great job. Yeah. And that's yeah. really all you can say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. As far as like personalities that do um, uh, feel like at home in the world of swinging, one thing I have personally found was um, I, I feel like I'm a, someone who loves to serve others. Yeah. And, and so I look at swinging for me personally as like it is a service that you're providing people and it makes me feel connected and, and um, like you know, part of the team, of course, but mm. um, but I really enjoy being able to like help other people, help my cast members, and also help the audience. Um, uh, you know, experience that change of vibration yeah. um, sure. from the beginning of the show to the end of the show. Um, but what what personality traits do you feel? Um, you know, people who would survive and thrive being a swing, not just survive, but thrive as oh, well. Yes, like, yes it was a it was a everybody should swing once. Um, it's funny because I do. Th I do think everyone should swing once, and I do think because the amount of people that have come to me be like, "I love what you do. I could probably, I could never do it." I'm like, if it's between swinging or not making money, you can yeah. swing. So <laughs> I think no one really knows that they can't do it unless they've done it once, at least. Yeah. And I think more people have what it takes than they expect. Mm. I agree. Because also, it, again, when the rubber hits the road, yep. like. And maybe this is not the greatest uh, um, in terms of like what's the show must go on mentality that's been born into all of us. But that when when you when you love a show and when you know a show and you're committed to a show, you will do what it takes to make sure that performance goes on. Yeah. And everyone, for better or for worse, has that in them. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that spirit exists in people and that is a swing that is what arguably creates a successful swing yeah. because mm -hmm. there is yeah. a huge element um, 
of not being able to know what to expect. Mm. And mm, that sure. is something, and as, as mothers, <clears throat> that is also just another element because um, I personally didn't think I'd be swinging as a mom. Mm. I was thinking, <laughs> oh, I'll hopefully find that ensemble track where I just come to work and know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> yeah. And my resume has a ton of swinging on it. And, and so, um, you know, and mm -hmm. it's a, a skill that we all have worked very hard yeah. to, um, to sculpt for ourselves. So um, it is just a, a, yeah. an interesting thing coming to work and being like, I don't know who I'm going to be tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I may have had a day of some um, unpredictability here and there, yeah. but um, I've just had to make room for that and figure it out. And you, you just, again, yeah. as you said, when the rubber meets the road, you just, if this is the difference between, you know, the choice between you either working or not, yeah. you know, yeah. you figure it out, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. as a parent, like, that's honestly what changed swinging for me, is that I, as much as I want to be everything for my kiddo, yeah. I can't be everything for my kiddo, which means I can't be everything for this show. I can't be everything for mm. everybody in the show. Ooh, yeah. I want yeah. to. That hits hard. Like, I want to be there for you so bad, mm -hmm. homie. Like, I, yeah. like we are yeah. in these trenches, you know? <laughs> but, like, realistically, I can't. I just, I can't. Mm -hmm. And still be able to face my own self in the mirror. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and also, not for nothing, parenthood. Parenthood for me, as it relates to swinging, being a swing. <laughs> um, <laughs> put things into perspective because it, it's not childbirth. It's not, it, it is a yeah. child, it is a baby, right? Yeah, it's but it's, it, for me, it was like, this is not a human. This is not nine months and now my body has grown 40, 50 pounds. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, mm -hmm. I can manage the stress. I'm not gonna be great all the time, but I'm, I'm gonna do my absolute best. And I think that's where my type A started to go towards pride. So long as I can walk mm. out of the theater with my head held high, I'm good. Yeah. As long as I know that my kiddo has eaten and is smiling, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can hold my head up high. So mm -hmm. long as my, my fellow actors are looking at me and like, come on, LaQuette, good for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, so long mm -hmm. as we can still see each other eye to eye as human beings, and I'm like, I did the best I could do today. But there is something about the fact that you just have a big responsibility that you're holding in your mind. Mm. Um, and um, so I always appreciate it when people are very loving and generous on stage and like excited that you're there. Um, one thing I do have, I do find challenging is when people who are doing it every day and I, I fully understand why they're exhausted, mm. um, but why they resent the joy that you have when you're on. Mm. Um, that's happened to me um, mm. uh, over the years in and out. Um, uh, yeah, and it's not, it's not many people <laughs> but, by any means, but, mm -hmm. um, but that is something um, that has always been just like, you know what? Like I could do without that. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. I don't need yeah. that. I have a lot going on. Oh my god. <laughs> you know? yeah. I'm present. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I mean, being a swing is it is hard. It is so hard. And if you are the type of person who has ever said that couldn't be me. I could not be a swing. I could not understudy. I need my track. I got to do a yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. It's hard sometimes yeah. to watch the show. It's just hard yeah. mm -hmm. because you want to be out there on the ice. Exactly. You know yeah, what I mean? Course. Like you want to get out there That's and do it. And when for. you do have sometimes those companies or those particular company members mm -hmm. who are speaking to you in that way, it's just like you have no idea how lucky you are to be out there every single mm -hmm. night, yeah. able to change your mistakes every Ugh. single night. I got to wait to go and change that mistake. Mm -hmm. I got to think about how I'm gonna change that yeah. mistake mm -hmm. every single night. Mm -hmm. And it's that part where I go, you absolutely need to be a swing. What could the audience do or what could uh, creative teams industry do to support the, support the swing? First of all, give us rehearsal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, <clears throat> you gotta, you, I, th I think for creatives, sometimes we forget because they were in rehearsal for that month in the studio but there were people on the side for that month, yeah. mm -hmm. not getting to do it in the studio, not looking at themselves in the mirror or looking, you know, out into the house, right? Like that is a type of rep mm -hmm. that you just cannot mess with. And yeah. yeah, and I'll go even further. And the giving us rehearsal isn't a quantitative thing; it's a qualitative thing. 
giving us effective rehearsal. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. do the choreography until I'm blue in the face, but yeah. if I don't know what automation feels like, Ooh, yeah. then if I don't know what automation <sighs> feels like, if I don't have props, if sure. I don't get the things to bring me to the next level before my put-in or before mm -hmm. the show, right. and I've just been running with empty space, mm -hmm. either in a studio or on stage, mm -hmm. whatever all of those things are, but at being able and to and for employers to feel, to see the value of for that, sure. of spending that money to give me those elements mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. the show, to make that then jump into the show a more seamless process. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is what I think is able to show that our, our presence there is valued. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's the difference between you know, doing a show and going through the motions and keeping the show going and having like a really quality show where you're really in it and enjoying yourself and interacting in a way that you want to be as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, going along with the more rehearsal, like yes, it costs money to run a full rehearsal in a show like Here Lies Love. It's yeah. all very, you know, precarious yes. because if it's your first time jumping around and doing a dance and kicking your face on a platform, that's only like three feet deep, mm -hmm. yeah. if that's your first time on there, like that's also a safety issue. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of safety involved, a lot of moving pieces. Uh, so you know, to spend the Literally. money yeah. on rehearsal will keep your show going and also keep your mm -hmm. actors from being injured, mm -hmm. um, yeah. having any kind of, you know, run-ins on stage. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not for nothing, like that's, that's the benefit of an insurance policy. And yeah. I think that's the reason why so many of us now are like, that's a sweeping generalization, but <laughs> I feel like the kitchen table talks that I have had, we are asking for more swings, right? We are mm -hmm. asking for more coverage because you don't realize how valuable someone is until you don't have a show that night. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like until mm -hmm. you don't have the opportunity to bring money into your box office that night, yeah. you don't realize how important that swing is. Mm -hmm. So why put yourself into the situation where you are several months into a run, mm -hmm. and now you're thinking about, oh, maybe I need that vacation swing. Yep. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. Hire them from the jump so yeah. that everybody has that opportunity mm -hmm. to really know what the vibe of this show is supposed to be. Um, and as far as, you know, for audiences, I think just audiences, this is, it feels very simple and, and um, easy to say that, you know, just know that the swings are mm -hmm. fantastically yes. talented and yeah. you should be excited that they're on. Yeah. Um, you know, there it, it's a thrill to watch someone new breathe into a story, mm -hmm. especially if you've seen the story a lot of times. Um, and, and you know, for the most part, I feel like I've experienced gracious audience members that are excited that, that um, your take may have been slightly different mm -hmm. or like they heard a line differently than they'd ever heard it before. Yeah. They heard, you know, notes in a way that they hadn't heard them before. Mm -hmm. um, so I always appreciate um, when, when people are excited about us being on there. It's a big deal to be seen. And the more that we can, as an industry, as a community, and as audience members, the more that we can see the people who are really saving the day, mm -hmm. the better off we're gonna be, the better our shows are gonna be, and yep. the more collaborative the show will be. Yeah, set them up for success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, agreed. And shove with love, you know. And yeah. shove <laughs> with love. Yeah. Guide with pride. Guide with pride. No, I didn't think that. I didn't think that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's nice.